hey um abdul uh, i'm going to start the second part for joho commerce so setting up your joho commerce store part two so i'm going to show you for how to add the products for setting up joho commerce store getting started with joho commerce i'm just clicking on the commerce store what it's loading it's loading hold on so now in the first uh, patch i have shown everything uh, about how to set up the store how to uh, set up store information and other necessary information in part two uh, in part one and now in part two i'm going to show you how to add product how to add product publish the site how to add taxes how to set up payment gateway and how to choose other templates and the shipping in part two so i'm going to add the product so how to add product in your commerce store just click on add product hold on it's loading so i'm going to add the products need to add the title url or public selling price retail price sku tag brands descriptions product details inventory track whether it will track the inventory or stock number quantity quantity restricts or specify the quantities to restrict the purchase low stock limits uh, if there is only nine item available then it will alert you that this product is low uh, uh, stock you need to you need to increase the stock ISBN number is for books is for universal product code EAN European article number and MP for manufacturing part number. Here we can add the multiple product image. We can add the attribute or variant based on the color, size, or anything else. And this is the most important things for adding the SEO title for the products, SEO title for the keywords, and SEO of the products and the specification. So I'm going to add on products. So this is a website from where I'm adding the products. Uh, if I click any one of the products, uh, this is the products I'm adding as a products. HR real herbal products. Okay. So this is the title I think I'm adding as a title okay so this is the long url or i can put only the herbal tea and deleting others the most important features is the show in store if you click it will not show in the store if you click here it will show in the store front end i'm adding a category like herbal products okay and uh, put in a single price like 250 retail price two hundred and seventy product sku stock keeping units I put a 30 s the description i'm just copy the description from here and paste it there tags like atr bl so
yeah i have pressed enter herbal pla and tplat just hit enter okay for brand uh, like it should be surplus or how many bread out of the test bread enter when you enter it will be added when you enter the tag will be added okay so qualifies for return so is the product returnable or not returnable if it's returnable just enable this if you're not returnable or fraud or if you think your badge will be hidden you can uh, disable it okay for diamond so if you put it uh, in kg i think uh, 0.25 kg or add diamond sword like width 12 centimeter and height 12 centimeter and length so it should be the cube so length should be 12 so it should be the uniform cube it better tactics i think initial amount should be 100 quantity restriction minimum uh need to be by two and maximum one can buy 10 products for getting a lot from the low stock limits when it's uh decreases uh less than 10 it will alert us that's we need to to add the batch items uh, as this is the low stock products so others are not necessary i think it's for books number universal product codes i think if we have any universal product code we can put like uh, this for any machinery or for any other product code okay this is the books international standard book number it's for article number and it's for international part number so we don't need just click click on desktop add the images if you think you want to add the more images just click uh, any of the products okay cancel hold on Okay, I'm just cropping the image. Okay, so this is the image. Product HRBL Herbal 01. So put it here. Okay, I'm uploading another image. So uploading the images. This is that there will be two images add attributes for color uh based on the color size weight we can add the variant i'm putting the color also should be or size yes i jd i'm putting size and attributes also should be large or L -A -R -G, large hit enter M E D I U B D F S M A W -L -S -W -L. These are the variant for size. You can add variant for color. For large size, I think so. there is only available 25. So for uh, 24, 50 quantity available i think sir uh, we put it uh 20 put it 50 and put it 
30 as the total number of items would be 100 so selling price 240 select price 289 so variant has been added if you want we can add another variant uh, it should be color cancel hold on so variant or we can add attributes like yes col or color yes color in crimson red orange so you see the color switch with the name and the color both so it should be very good for choose the right color okay okay so edge attributes size and color has been added as variant so we can put a, a lot of things here for a lot of variations you see there but i think there are a lot of variation created so that's why i'm minimizing it or you can even if you want you can put the quantity and the selling price for each variant okay. size should be large and color should be crimson size should be small but color should be red like this lot a lot of variants so you can add the SEO title like this i'm adding the product title and SEO title the same Keyword should be HR real herbal product and we need to put comma P -E pure product like Indian herbal product and for description i'm adding the diamond description you see so it will not uh, allow you to add the description more than uh, 70 700 characters so i'm minimizing some of them okay i think it should be less than or equal to seven third seo description i think there is a standard character limits for them uh, like 170 to 175 character maximum allowed for the SEO descriptions SEO keyword like the way you want so many keywords you can put the very good SEO title for the products create a specification to add your products you can create a specification from setting page once you create you can line the product so if you want things you would like to add the custom specifications for the products we need to go to the setting page and then we need to add the specifications so right now i am thinks it's a well I'm enabling the base category it is showing in the store this is the titles this is the titles this is the concise titles and this is the detailed description so i'm putting the same here but here i'm putting uh, the description in a few lines only and here should be the long description here should be the short description this should be the parabolic of the product this should be the title of the products and this would be the tag and this would be the category and it should track the inventory like joe inventory how many products you have and how many are remaining these two are the images if you want you can add the more images uh, these are the attributes and these are the variants so everything i just saved it so what it is uh, uh, telling you that you didn't uh, specify the quantity and price for them so i'm putting the same price for every variant
and I'm putting the quantity as two five four nine five four three 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 five seven so it will not cross uh, uh, more than hundred uh, quantity as the total quantity is hundred so it will not cross uh, more than hundred so let's save it invalid value pass for ups so uh, it shows that's for ups hold on for universal product uh, hold on where is ups uh, this is uh, sorry i think it was international product categories brand tracking inventory i'm going to save this just wait so you see the product has been saved and if i go to the home page hold on it's loading So, if you think uh, uh, we can add it the products uh, under products, there is on product. Hold on. Okay, it's not adding a lot of type. Uh, all product. Okay. I think it's a bit added, uh, but uh, there is a problem in the back end. Just to so like in P the IT don't you because I think it's in P the IT E store. So I published it with the Joho subdomain. If you think you can map it with your domain it's loading published and the home page of the website is coming in okay so you see uh, under wall products you can view wall products i think i have added only one products okay and it has ranges from 252 to 70 and there was this on sale tags for details you can click view details you see uh this is the details view this is the tag this is the title this is the long descriptions if you want you can share with whatsapp uh, and other social media sites you can choose the variant as a color you can choose the quantity you can add to the cart and this is the product description in details here you can put the reviews so product has been added you see in the store uh, so if you want you can add uh, as much product as you want in the front store okay uh, so it's loading So this is the front end herbal sites so this is the product in the front end if you want you can add the product anywhere of the websites or any section or any uh, page so this is the video about how to effectively add the products in joho commerce stores so i think in next video i will show you how to set up the payment gateway for your e-commerce stores this video is long enough so i will break down the video 
into uh, several parts for getting started with your commerce so in next video i will uh, try to show you the payment gateway integrations for your e-commerce stores so thanks everyone thanks for watching the video so if you have any confusion or if you have any comments you can put the comments uh, in the comment sections and you can get the details about our company in the description sections okay.